Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's adventure we are looking at the new tires I got for Goat over here which is my KTM 390 adventure of which I got the Motars Tractionator Adventures and to start this little test off I have come to the worst terrain imaginable a sand pit. Just to give you a brief look they are very knobbly and very aggressive and they've just been scrubbed in so I just did the first 100 k's on them and on the front the front side is scrubbed in it's just the side walls that I haven't really tipped it over too far but I'm impressed on road so far so let's get riding traction control off and we have off-road ABS on so we can survive and let's see if we can dig ourselves out of this hole They are so much better than the old TKC 80s that I had. Oof. Oh, there we go. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Come on, give me it back. There we go. They don't squirrel around as much as other tires, but they still do. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, baby. Yeah, nah, these are awesome. These are really great. Ah, people dumping everywhere. Ooh, 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 ooh. These mounds are terrible. Also rained a bit last night. Yeah, they've got great traction on the sidewall. So as you lean it over, they don't fall out from under you. So. All of these, as you can see, it's just wet enough to keep it at an angle, but you know, so that but hard enough so that it pushes you over, and that extra traction on the side wall just makes all the difference in the world. You can just lean it over, accelerate, it'll pick itself back up. It's great stuff. So I did try these out yesterday, oh, 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 over here, just to check. And up we go. Yeah. I would be sinking. Oh, 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 non-stop in the TKC 70s. Big knoblies I think could do well as well, but I think I'd be sliding left to right more. A oh, quad bike came through here. Oh. All this deep stuff here. Ah, almost got me there. Whew. Ah, give that a bit of a break. Might I just add how well these do in sand. Like this isn't the worst sand or the deeper sand or it does have its deep rutty bits but it kept me standing up straight a lot more comfortably than other things I've had. Mm -hmm. They did really really well especially I don't know if you could see it in the video but there were stones in the middle of the sand pit that just appear out of nowhere and kept me up straight kept me going very very well. I'm um, going to take a bit of a ride to some gravel now, but before I do that, the comments on the road manners, it's good. Um, like, obviously you got to remember, for some reason you have to explain this to people, they are dual sport tyres. They are not going to perform perfectly on road, you know, but if you're lane splitting and you're sitting in front and you want to clear traffic as soon as the lights go green, I've blasted this thing full tilt and I've had zero grief getting out of the way, taking corners, anything like that. Obviously you lean it over further and further and further until you know you see what happens. Some people have said they're loud but uh, as you can hear I've taken the resonator out of this which has made it a completely different bike 
and I would not exchange that for the noise it's a lot less vibe the vibrations a lot less and it's a lot more comfortable ride surprisingly enough just a bit noisy so but I wear earplugs all the time anyway um, on the road it doesn't feel too bumpy it you know maybe you feel it a bit more maybe you don't they're a little bit taller um, so I do feel I'm higher up off the ground when I do it and that you do feel they are a bit harder but once they warm up they do have better road manners so when you first start riding I'd behave yourself but you know once you've been going for a while you can start uh, to throw them around a bit more and they stick a bit better so I will chat to you guys when I get to the gravel we have arrived at the track so I am in the middle of nowhere but this is the stuff I'm going to be riding normally it hasn't been ridden in a while it's been raining a bit so bad conditions good to test these tires um, on the road like you saw they perform really well as I'm getting more used to them I'm actually quite impressed with how well they perform they are very heavy duty, I can't hear how loud they are because my exhaust is so loud. But I haven't had any issues on the road and really, who cares. Um, on these tracks over here, the traction is great so far, but let's get riding and see how they go. squirrel oof, around a bit the ground is a little bit loose from the rain it's my first gear but I'm impressed I'm very impressed I'm glad I went with these I was going to get the Royal Z's or the Rallies I don't know what they're called but these are doing very well on this unpredictable surface very well I'm braking when I find my brake yeah front wheel as well doesn't slip out from under me a bit of a drop Gravel in the middle, rocks. Oh no, these tires, yeah. Much better experience. Nah, guys, these are great. And I've heard stories of people, even on, this is a light bike, but mid-sized bikes saying that they get, you know, 12,000, 15,000 kilometers on them. You know, considering I'm going to be riding this mostly off-road, um, I'm going to get fantastic mileage out of these bad boys. This pea gravel stuff, this was my worst nightmare. Um, 
on the TKC 70s. So I just rolled around the whole time. It was horrible. You know, now it, yeah, you can feel it dancing a bit, but I can turn left and right. I have choices. Whereas before, it's uh, wherever the bike's going, you're gone, you're done. Hill with a corner. So that's my two cents about the Motaz Adventure Tires, Motaz Tractionator Adventures. I think they're great. I'll do it again. They work really well. It's just going to be interesting to see how many Ks I get out of them, how well they go. But yeah, on road, off road, I'm very happy. And yeah, if you're thinking of throwing a pair of tires on the KTM 390 Adventure, these are definitely them. I will throw the tire size in the description in the I will throw the tire size in the description below because I did notice some people told me that that was a bit of an issue. But uh, yeah, that'd be them. So, so folks, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and do all the things. And remember folks, if you're stuck in a rut, try something new, fix something old, change something now. Cheers, bye.